you faced some adversity when you got to Miami that maybe you didn't expect. And I believe the story goes that you were at dinner and you were sitting around some staffers and they thought that you were a staffer, not a player. Right. How, how did that land on you? <laughs> um, that's a, you know, that's another consistent story throughout my life. Like going back to, you know, basketball tournaments when I was in like sixth or seventh grade or passing tournaments in high school. I remember people always saying like, you know, before the game, we didn't think you were even like a player, you know, like we just didn't think you'd be that good. And then, um, you know, I make a couple plays and I'm like, okay, this guy can actually, you know, play, you know, basketball or football or whatever it was. So anyways, that story is funny because I show up to the cafeteria and this is at a time for whatever reason, players aren't there. Maybe, you know, some other people went home. So I sat down with some operations people, um, some of the operations guys I knew and some operations interns came and sat down with them. And me and I'm just talking to some of the guys, you know, some of them are still undergrads. I'm saying, hey, you know, how's this going for you? Are you enjoying it? What are you studying in college? You know, why, why Miami? And after about 10 minutes, one of them looks at me and goes, so what do you do here? <laughs> and I'm like, uh, you know, I'm on the team. <laughs> he was super apologetic. But anyways, I told that story to the team just because I thought it would be, it would be funny to tell you know, rookies get called down all the time. You got to sing a song or tell a joke. And I decided to tell that story. And from then on, some of the offensive coaches called me the intern.